easier to understand the statement our second sport coupe makes. Raw yet sophisticated power is the text of the new rear-drive Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. It's named after the international race of champions, but the IROC Z is a lot more than just an understated solid color trim package positioned one notch above the more garish Z28. While you can order the IROC with the Z28's five-speed manual, 190 horse, L69 V8, it's the new LB9 multi-port injected 215 horse, five liter, with a four-speed automatic that makes the IROC Z unique. Even standing still, it's a sight to behold. The configuration is called tuned port injection, and it's shared with the top Pontiac Firebird and 5.7 liter Corvette. The heart of the engine is this plenum that works like an exhaust extractor, but in reverse. It pulses and thus increases the density of the intake air to provide turbo-like boost with much less complexity. Engine breathing is further enhanced with a higher lift cam. But you have to experience the IROC C's next snapping takeoff to really appreciate its prowess. Zero to 60 is a flashing 7.1 seconds. Quarter mile and a steaming 14.7 seconds at a cool 90. The IROC Z's top end is over 135. So why only an automatic gearbox? Well, apparently the new engine's 275 pounds of torque is too much for the Camaro's five-speed manual. At least, we hope, until next year. But there's actually a lot more to applaud about the IROC Z than just motor. Suspension extras include Bilstein gas shocks and a thicker anti-roll bar at the rear along with super-aggressive 50-series Gatorback tires all around. The first result is an amazingly flat, sticky car with quick steering that is more neutral than the Z28. Quite a statement about such a nose-heavy car. There is naturally plenty of power to slip the tail out at will, but with so many horses under the pedal, you do have to drive smart. The second result of the IROC Z's suspension updating is to provide a cure for all those loose uppers caused by the bone-jarring ride of the Z28. The IROC Z is firm and controlled, but also very everyday livable. The IROC's brakes are up to snuff too. Four-wheel vented discs give straight little effort stops. While the pedal is mushy and there is some premature lockup when cold, Distances from 55 of 113 feet are outstanding for any 3,500-pound street racer. The interior of the IROC Z can be left rather basic, as in this test sample. Or you can get it with most of the Z28's overdone images. At least they've eliminated the Camaro's twin-needle speedometer. This more typical unit is much clearer, though the fact that any speed over 85 doesn't register is laughable in a car like the IROC Z. The two IROC samples we drove were pre-production models, but we were promised that they were accurate examples of what you can order from your Chevy dealer now. Despite reports to the contrary, the tacked-on, non-functioning hood louvers did make production, along with more resolute grill-inserted driving lamps. But that's just about it for basic IROC fluff. Thank goodness. Or in our opinion, the IROC Z needs nothing superficial to enhance its terrific blend of practical technology and superior performance. It's a car that makes a fresh, fast track on the old pony car road, and it's a real treat.